Good morning, guys, and welcome to your Monday morning market brief. So, US markets finished the week off last week really positive. I think for the month of July, the S&P was up around 9%, the NASDAQ was up a similar number. And in fact, the NASDAQ now, if we look and see, is actually no longer in an official bear market. The S&P 500 is grinding back higher. Company earnings are coming out much better than expected, particularly for many of the big tech businesses. What the led, mar uh, led the market rally higher on late in the week last week was Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, Alphabet, all of the big names, in fact, including Meta in that, although Meta did pull back on their earnings numbers. That's about 30% of the entire S&P 500 weighted market cap. So ASX 200, the Aussie market, we're going into an earnings season here as well right now. So that's gonna be important for the local share market here. But as we head into the back half of this year, what we are seeing right now is a lot of traders with the expectation that central banks will be able to ease up on the aggressive interest rate increases. And when company earnings are still remaining strong, inflation is way too high. What we're likely gonna see is the potential peaking of inflation, particularly in the US, that starts to come down. Market sentiment starts to return. Money managers are gonna to wanna to get these markets high before the end of the year to get their Christmas bonuses and their performance bonuses. So therefore, I would suspect, unless we see some sort of surprise come out of left field, and inflation is not peaked in the US. I think inflation has not peaked in Australia, but I think inflation in the US is likely peaked. Company earnings are holding up, US consumers are holding up, and all around, things are looking pretty positive. So we had a fantastic weekend here in Sydney at our two-day investors conference. We had around 400 of our clients there. I'd love for you to see you there next year, or if you were there, I hope you had a great time. That's your Monday morning market brief. See you tomorrow.